planning and uh, I was in the village. I actually got back to the city yesterday and we were planning for this meeting and Apostle Subi and uh, Reverend Kisotu were telling me that we were going to have it on Monday. I really wondered whether we would have people here. Considering that work has begun, people are back to the offices and little did we know that actually today would be the day where parents would be taking from once uh, to school. But look at what God has done. This place is so full, down here, upstairs. I think there are people who've been standing because they could not get seats. Just to say that the church has taken this thing of thanksgiving very seriously. Last year, wakati tulikuwa na kiangazi, we had very bad drought in our nation. If you may remember, last year at such a time, it was so bad. We saw the documentary that we were shown. And I remember we were seated in the national altar uh, in State House, and we just had a normal day of prayer. And God spoke to us and asked us to talk to the president to call a solemn assembly. And I'll never forget that day because indeed it was a miracle because we just called the contact in State House in the office of the president, and the president asked and said, tell those people to come. And we had Apostle Subi and Reverend Kisoto and I think uh, Reverend Mudenyo, they went to see the president and they talked to him about the drought that was hitting the country. And the president asked them, what can I do? And, his, and they told him, let's call a solemn assembly, a day to come and pray to the almighty God to bring rain. And I don't want to repeat what has been said. Of course, we called that day. It was a successful day. And, uh, you know, whatever happened, happened. But look at what God has done. And I know we have wanted to have this Thanksgiving, even last year. But we did not get a good opportunity towards the end of last year. You know, the rains have come. For those of us who are farmers, how many farmers are in the house? Let me see. Wakulima wako api. Munasema nini? Asante. And you know, a, a friend of mine challenged me. You know, because of this issue of food security, he said when he saw the president talking about food security, he was not a farmer, but he decided to go and grow maize. But unfortunately, where he was growing maize, nafikira ikukua area ya maindi sana, but I want to encourage that person because I know they are seated here. Go back and grow the maize again. Because we need food in our nation, isn't it? Amen. And God has been good. The government has done a lot. We talk about fertilizer, you know, that has been given to the farmers at affordable prices. And now we have food in our nation. Last year, we had a pamba harvest. And to all that, we say thank you to the Almighty God. And today, you know, I was in the, I was up country the other day and my children were calling me and they were telling me Nairobi was flooding two days ago. It had rained the whole night, isn't it? And I want to tell you, for those of you maybe who don't know what is happening in the village, there's also a lot of rainfall in the village. And apart from like the maize farmers, we've been able to grow beans, We've been able to grow vegetables, and like my sister said, tuko na terere, tuko na managu, that is just growing, and the people of God have food. And I just came here, church, to thank you so much for persisting in prayer. When we pray, God answers. And today we have come here to say thank you to God. Even as we go to 2024, as we have begun, we know that God is going to do us good. Now, many things have been said, and I don't wish to repeat issues of thanksgiving. You know, the men and women of God that have come here thanking God and, you know, talking about thanksgiving. But there's something I just want to encourage you as I go to sit concerning 2024. And I want to encourage the church of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage us 
who are of the household of faith to say, as we go to 2024, let's get into 24 with a spirit of action. Amen? Tell somebody action. Tell your neighbor action. Mwambie kutenda. Matendo. The Bible in the book of James chapter 2 verses 14 says, Faith without action is dead. There is so much happening in our nation in terms of what government is doing. Um, the program that the president has on the better, pro, uh, uh, the better uh, agenda, you know, leading the nation to where he wants the nation to do, you know, together with all the other government leaders. You know, I know you watch the president talk, and I want to encourage us, Church of Jesus Christ, to be people who follow what our leaders are saying and doing. You know, projects like the affordable housing project, universal health care, food security. Archbishop has told us about issues of manufacturing and so on and so forth. Let's be partakers of what the government is doing. Amen? Let's be partakers as children of God. I would even wish to ask here, the president has been launching the projects of affordable housing. How many of us here are contractors building the affordable housing? How many architects do we have here that are partakers of that? How many QSs are here that are partakers of that? How many have been to one site that the president has been launching even to see what you can do? You know, like the Juakali people have been supplying, you know, the windows and the doors and all that. I want to encourage us to take a step of action and do something. Amen? And I'm talking to the church of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, faith without action is dead. So let 2024 be a year that you can take action. And it is not just in what the president is doing. Even in your own personal life, even in the 24-7 uh, prayer and fasting that we are doing, that we can be part of this, that we can take that action to say, I want to take a watch. I want to take 30 minutes. I want to take one hour to be able to pray. In your own life, the dreams that we have had, even growing up, many of us have proposals, things that we have written that are just in the shelf. I want you to go pull that proposal that you wrote one time and look at it and take action and do something. Amen? Because the church has to be different this year. Kenya has to be different. And I'm encouraging all the people. It's just that I was doing this to the ones of the household because you are the ones that are here. But I want to speak to all because I know there are many that are watching, even some that are, born and that are not born again, that 2024 should be the year that we take action. Let's help the leaders Let's help our president do something. Sometimes I look at my own life. About 14 years, 15 years ago this year, I began a small organization, uh, just with 60 women, and we called it Joyful Women. Today we talk of about 200,000 women that we work with, and I look at the staff that have been employed there, about 500. And I keep saying, if I had not started, maybe those people would not be having jobs today. Maybe those women's lives would never have been transformed. So you may look at yourself and you think you are not able to do anything. But I can tell you, each one of us are change makers for our generation. Amen? I know all the apostles seated here have great testimonies and even many of us. I just want to encourage us as Kenyans to be able to come out, do something this year so that we can become change makers in our nation. And so I pray that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will be with us. I, can, I think I'm still allowed to say Happy New Year 2024. And as I sit down, 
please receive a lot of greetings from our president, Dr. William Samoe Ruto. As we have continued to say, anything that is born out of prayer will be sustained by prayer. I urge and I request that we continue to pray for our president and all the leaders. Thank you so much, and may the Lord bless you.